Good morning, and welcome to the online service for the Timonium United Methodist Church on this Sunday, or whenever you're watching this. And once again, however you're watching this, whether on our Facebook page or our website, or any other way you find this, please don't forget to like and share the contents so that more people can hear these words of God. And if you're visiting us on our webpage, don't forget we have two special features there. One is a prayer request. If you fill out the form, it comes directly to me, and I add it to our prayer list weekly. And finally, and perhaps most important, but the hardest thing to ask is that you click on the donate button. Without money, without your gifts, without your tithes, this ministry of Timonium United Methodist Church cannot continue. So I encourage you to visit and please make a donation. And now our call to worship comes from Psalm 19, verses seven through 14. The law of the Lord is perfect, reviving the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. The precepts of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The commandment of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes. The fear of the Lord is clean, enduring forever. The ordinances of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. More to be desired are they than gold even much fine gold, sweeter also than honey and drippings of the honeycomb. Moreover, by them is your servant warned, and keeping them there is great reward. But who can understand one's own errors? Clear me from hidden thought faults. Also, Keep your servant from the insolent. Let them not have dominion over me. Then I shall be blameless and innocent of great transgression. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. And now, our opening prayer. O Creator and mighty God, you have promised strength for the weak, rest for the laborers, light for the way, grace for the trials, help from above, unfailing sympathy, undying love. O Creator and mighty God, Help us to continue in your promise. And all God's people said, Amen. Our first scripture reading this morning comes from Philippians, chapter 3, verses 4b through 14. I invite you now to hear these words that Paul wrote to the church at Philippi. If anyone has reason to be confident in the flesh, I have more. Circumcised on the eighth day, a member of the people of Israel, of the tribe of Benjamin, a Hebrew born of Hebrews, as to the law, a Pharisee, as to zeal, a persecutor of the church, as to righteousness under the law, blameless. Yet, whatever gains I had, those I have come to regard as loss because of Christ. More than that, I regard everything as loss because of the surpassing value of knowing Christ Jesus, my Lord. For his sake, I have suffered the loss of all things, and I regard them as rubbish, in order that I may gain Christ and be found in him, 
not having a righteousness of my own that comes from the law, but one that comes through faith in Christ, the righteousness from God based on faith. I want to know Christ and the power of his resurrection and the sharing of his sufferings by becoming like him in his death. If somehow I may attain the resurrection from the dead. Not that I have already attained this or have already reached that goal, but I press on to make it my own because Christ Jesus has made me his own. Beloved, I do not consider that I have made it my own, but this one thing I do, forgetting what lies behind and straining forward to what lies ahead, I press on toward the goal for the prize of the heavenly call of God in Christ Jesus. Our gospel lesson today comes from Matthew chapter 21, verses 33 through 44. And I invite you to rise if that is your custom. Jesus said, listen to another parable. There was a landowner who planted a vineyard, put a fence around it, dug a wine press in it, and built a watchtower. Then he leased it to tenants and went to another country. When the harvest time had come, he sent his slaves to the tenants to collect his produce. But the tenants seized his slaves and beat one, killed another, and stoned another. Again, he sent other slaves more than the first, and they treated them the same way. Finally, he sent his son to them saying, they will respect my son. But when the tenants saw the son, they said to themselves, this is the heir. Come, let us kill him and get his inheritance. So they seized him, threw him out of the vineyard and killed him. Now, when the owner of the vineyard comes, what will he do to those tenants? They said to him, he will put those wretches to a miserable death and lease the vineyard to other tenants who will give him the produce at harvest time. Jesus said to them, have you never read in the scriptures the stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. This was the Lord's doing, and it is amazing in our eyes. Therefore, I tell you, the kingdom of God will be taken away from you and given to a people that produces the fruits of the kingdom. The one who falls on this stone will be broken to pieces, and it will crush anyone on whom it falls. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. <laughs> 